Karen Mack here. Uh, welcome back to my Empires of the Undergrowth playthrough. If you didn't see the last video, I put a card up so you can follow how I've been getting on. Although it was just the last video was literally just a ba basic um, explanation for like 10 minutes, just like a little introduction. So we're going to go on to the first actual level, which is new home. Um, I'm going to do this just on medium for now. And you can see the rewards it will give us. Uh, you get a first time play bonus as well. So if we were t I've done it on insane before, but just for this playthrough, we're going to stick to medium. Uh, might do some harder playthroughs uh, later down the line, if that's what people want to see. So anyway, yeah, let's load in. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Right, okay, yep, so there's a lot of just free food here. The, um, the green question marks are uh, food, like basically little prey, just like these little grubs. The, red the ants have encountered marks. a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will yeah. be butchered and carried off for processing. Right, okay, whatever. The red exc exclamation marks are predators, so you just have to be a bit careful. Um, so we're going to be tunneling up. Well, we're going to tunnel both ways, really. So one of food storage slightly centralized as much as I can. Put a few here for now. And we'll get some soldier ants. So where do I wanna put it? I wanna put there, yeah I wanna put it here. So yeah, we'll stick the soldier ant tiles down here. Uh, the black ants, whatever they're called. Yeah, black ants. They're basically your like yeah your basic soldiers. Um, the worker ants are like really not good at fighting. So I'm going to put them in group one. So as you can see now, it's like zero out of two because I built two tiles, um, but they haven't spawned them yet. So they'll carry the larvae when they're ready over to the brood tile, and then when that's ready, it will hatch. Uh, let's get some more food. There we go. There's our first soldier, black ant. And oh, no, I can control these now because I can actually send like pheromone markers. So I'll go get them to get that food. For some reason, the work at the the hive group don't. They just sort of leave food if it's a bit far away. I'm not sure why, but it's fine. Like any any of the ants can carry food. You can pick whether to disable that or not if you want. Uh, you can do it there. There's loads of food down there. Let's get digging. So what I want to do now is just build up a few soldiers before I start um, going into these bits. So we've got like two there. So we probably want about five to go up against them. Uh, and there's 50 food per uh, black ant tile. Uh, we've got four at the moment, so once they bring them back, we should have enough for another one. You always want to have a bit of food in reserve to actually spawn the ants, because you know you can get to a point where if you have like a long battle, all of your ants can get wiped out, and then there's no way to respawn any because you run out of food. That's generally how you f fail in this game, pretty much. Uh, right, so we've got them built. How many have we got? We've got four. Just gonna wait a second. I'll tell you what, workers can go for that, that's safe. Um we've got five at the moment. Yeah, that'd be enough against two. Yeah, we got six now. Right, so we'll dig out there. Get our black ants ready to attack whatever's in there. There we go. 
Okay. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipasolens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Oh yeah, dealt with them pretty quickly. I've just up upgraded them food tiles as well, so we can um, hold more food. And we'll get another couple of black ants. We'll go for that. And then there's loads there. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. So we want to go around. The objective of this is just kill all the creatures nearby. So once we've cleared out all of these, um, then the mission's complete. If you set the challenge on, uh, it adds basically extra extra creatures to contend with but they actually dig into your nest which is pretty cool can be quite difficult so you want to try and there are intruders in the nest yeah right uh, you want to try sort of plan I'm not doing the best job of it but you want to try and plan the layout of your um, of your nest for efficiency for you know how quickly you can move about. Um, when ants move across certain tiles, it slows them down. You can also get speed tiles as well. I'm not gonna bother with them, but this one here. So I could, if I want, I don't wanna dig out from my queen, because I want, you know, if enemies are coming down here, I don't want them to be able to get straight to my queen. I want them to go through my workers, uh, sorry, my, my soldiers first. So I'll probably have the main tunnel coming up here. So we've nearly got half the map, but these are the hard ones here. I've got loads of food actually, let's make some more. Yeah, I'll put another nest here. So, get a few more, we'll make another group. Each. Um, set of brood cells that's joined together creates a separate group. So we can see here I've got two different groups. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. So you see that they're getting killed and then they're just instantly spawning and they're close to where it's happening, which is good. The sort of tactic that you want when you're attacking things is to just swarm them basically because you need, uh, you get a slight bonus when there's multiple um, ants attacking one thing. So that is the best strategy to just absolutely bomb burst in. Well, let's get that food as well. Let's get these wood lice. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Get a couple more black ants. Usually aim to get about 30 ish. You can upgrade them if you want, it just makes them stronger and they get like quicker attacks, um, stuff like that. But probably not going to bother for this one. I'm just going to go for numbers. So. Yeah, we'll let them pick all this. I'll tell you what, we'll let the smaller group do that. We'll take the bigger group to uh, attack these lot. There are intruders in the nest. See, I didn't really bunch them up then. This might get a few of them killed. Isn't the best way of doing it. 
You can't interrupt um, ants while they're doing something. So I can't get them to stop or move. Or like if they're carrying food, that's it. Like I can't stop them until they've dropped it off. So you just have to be cautious of that. I've right, got a decent amount of food. Let's get some more. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's, our groups are like almost equal. Let's burrow into there. Let's dig two separate ways so we can get out. Yeah, if enemies come down either of these routes, they're going to hit the um, the nest of my. Uh, soldier ants first, so that's fine. We should get some more food tiles a bit closer now. sort of joined it up now which is good um, I want enough food storage for about the workers have done all they can to improve these food stores yeah right whatever um, that's five seven seven hundred food maybe just stored up for the like the final attack bits base essentially uh, want to make these bigger I'll find just two groups of ants, it's fine. Me, it's enough. So we'll get some more there. We've got loads of food coming from there. Then the next. Uh, We'll go for this one next. What I'm gonna do is just gonna put them in the same group just for now, just to make it easier, so they're easier to bunch up. And then we'll dig into that one. Uh, and then, yeah, quite a bit of food there and there. This there are intruders in the nest. This is the ones we want to save till last, basically. How many there there are intruders 20. in the nest. But 27. That's not bad at the moment. Whoops. The wrong group selected. Yeah, they should be able to do these quite quick because they're just absolutely bundling in there. You see them all just spawning. As soon as they get killed, they're getting replaced by these um, larvae that are sat there waiting. Uh, do some more food tiles. Because we're going to dig up into there. Keep doing that. Uh, the workers these. have done all they can to improve these food stores. Five hundred ninety food storage here. Want some more? Let's take take out these wood lice and get some more some more uh, black ants yeah let's take these wood lice out poor wood lice 
absolutely shafted him. Um, so then we'll go next. We'll probably go for this one, then this one. Get that, then that, then these. How much storage? Six hundred and eighty. Want a little bit more. Um, yeah. Pop it here. Uh, get some more ants. Uh, we'll get ready to move into this one. It should be fairly easy. Yeah, people have any other sort of tactics while playing this and let me know in the comments. So I've, I've played this one quite a few times. Um, I've just sort of kind of ground this a bit on previous playthroughs just to get extra resources, food and that. So I've worked out my own strategy. But it might there are the intruders best, in the nest. It works. Yeah, doing this in, on insane is, is quite a bit more difficult. Especially with the challenge active as well. But if it works, it works. Right, put that food down and then we'll go into the next bit. This one's got a bigger um, beetle in, I think. You can tell by the... I think it's that one. They all look the same size, the exclamation marks, but we'll see. There are intruders in the nest. Ah oh, no, they're all just normal size. You see the bigger exclamation marks there, the obviously bigger enemies. Got some wood lice in here as well. 50 food apiece. So yeah, we're doing alright. How many have we got? We've got oh jeez, we've got nearly 40 ants. I think that's enough. Any spare food I might just upgrade. Um, might just upgrade the tiles instead of just spawning more and more ants. Get two. I just like it being even. So we've got 20 in each. There we go. I'll go for, yeah, that one next. We've only got like three little pockets left. So, which way should we borrow? Go this way. Let's get in there. I think there might be a big one. No, I don't think there is. Oh, of course, I'm playing medium difficulty. I'm used to playing the harder ones where there's more of the big ones. Because I'm so hard. Uh, but yeah, so there's only a few of the big ones actually. Piece of piss. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, how much food do they? Yeah. I'll upgrade a few of the tiles. Why not? Yeah, want to make sure we've got loads of food spare for any that die on the final attacks. Then we'll go for this one. This is these are actually split into two. It's not one um, chamber. It's two separate ones, so we can do these separately. Do that one first. There are intruders in the nest. There we go, there's a big one. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. 
The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The so devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Right, so we got that, and then we're on to the last bit. Uh, I reckon we'll upgrade a few. Tiles, seems we've got them, got the food. These little, you can see if they've been upgraded. The little like leaves, they almost look like. The little orange ones. That one's got two, so that's level two. It'd be nice if you could see the exact stats uh, increase of your ants, or you know, because you don't. Know, I didn't know like how worth it was to upgrade units. I did a little bit of research online, and I found something um, that read the stats, but I don't know how true it is or how up to date it is. Right, let's go for the last one anyway. Let's get this done. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Should be alright. Yeah, it's been many times I've got to the last bit on the harder difficulties and my colonies just got wiped out, so you know like that first wave's almost all been wiped out, so we'll stop them here. Just just so they can build up again and send like a second attack basically. It's better to send them in a big blob. There we go. You can hear the noise, that's the, the new ones hatching. Right, so we got rid of all the small ones. Just got these two to go. So that spray like confuses them, you see when they run around with a question mark. I think it means they stop attacking. Uh, and there we go, got them. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. There we go, um, we've done it and we get to pick our reward. I'm gonna go for extra food food's always good and that's an extra 600 I think there we have it yeah that's done now so if you enjoyed that then please give it a like if you want to follow this series then please subscribe because uh, it helps the channel out massively so yeah and the next one will go on to subjugation I think is the next one um, so until then I'll see you in the next one Car of Mac out